What's up y'all, Zach Dowdy here, and today's video is going to be a little behind the scenes of how I film YouTube videos, as well as just some practical tips on how to film yourself skateboarding. I got a little adapter, and it's basically going to allow me to use my old Canon lenses and all my Sigma lenses on the Fujifilm camera that I use now. We're going to get into the fisheye. Again, this is more about tips on how to film yourself, but I get to use some new lenses while we make this. So without further ado, let's jump outside, hit the quarter pipe, and talk about some tips on how to film yourself skateboarding. The first obvious thing to filming yourself skateboarding is crucial is a good old tripod. I definitely wedged my camera or phone on rocks or benches and all sorts of stuff, but Tripod's definitely worth an investment. My go-to is always a low angle because filming skateboarding at a lower angle just gives it a better perspective in general. The second tip here is just switching up your angle even in between tries that maybe you don't make. And this is the same thing even in like Vans videos, the best videos that you see. Sometimes if you can get a, you know, a clip of almost making it and getting really close, you can switch up your angle and patch those two clips together. Really, you're just painting the story. You're giving a better story. It also keeps it more entertaining. If you just keep the same angle, it kind of can get boring. So I'll give you an example. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I had to work for that one, you guys. That, 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 was, that was tough. I was filming with the fisheye, and then I moved the fisheye, right? But the variation in the fisheye just wasn't very far from each other. Fisheye can only stay so different. So when you're doing this technique and you're switching up your angles, I think one thing to definitely do is definitely make sure you get a way different angle. Instead of keeping the fisheye on, I put the long lens on that I also wanted to test out today. Next tip that I found really handy at one point a long time ago and I still do it all the time is just setting your camera, whether it's a phone or a camera like I'm filming on, some sort of object slightly out of view but in the frame, but, but not too much in the frame. And I'll show you an example in a second, but the, the point is that we're going to make this sort of dolly effect and we do that in post, in editing. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. What trick should we do now? Oh, I guess we'll do the blunt to pivot to fake. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this in Adobe Premiere, that's what I edited, but maybe you could do iMovie if you're editing on your phone. And basically you zoom in on the clip, you scale in on this clip like 115%, not too much. You move the clip over a little bit, then you just add a motion to it. And basically that emotion effect will look like it's sliding the camera from left to right, but really you're just zooming in on the canvas and you're moving it left to right in the editing. Sometimes when you're just tripoding everything and it's all completely still can get a little bit boring. So adding some motion to your tripod clips can make it just a fun way to make the edit have some uh, more life to it. Next tip, fourth tip, it's pretty practical, but sometimes you just forget about it when you're out filming yourself skating. And what that's gonna be is just getting a roll up and a roll away angle. And you don't have to actually film the actual trick. It could just be throwing your board down or literally just rolling away because that just makes the story a little bit better than just showing your one clip. I'm getting exhausted out here. So the idea with, you know, this one of filming all your different angles of your one single trick the idea is just to add some more to the story you know so it's just not this one single clip and it just makes it more exciting essentially and there's there's more going on and it's and it's more to, it's less to take in almost because if it's just single trick it's almost hard to take all that in something else that's helpful when you're doing this is just trying to get one audio clip and just putting that under your whole timeline and it really just like sells the story of that being one motion and you really did it all in one and you just had five different cameras. Now I really feel like trying some tail blocks. It's a, I haven't done any tail blocks on this quarter pipe since I built it, so I think it's tail block time. Maybe we intertwine all the different techniques that we've talked about so far. So I hope this gave you some insight behind my channel, what goes on behind the clips, and uh, maybe give you some inspiration for your own channel, your own edits, Instagram. Leave your handles down below so I can check them out. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna I'm gonna prep up for a new video, a how-to DIY skate spot video. New one's coming. Got to prep up. 
See you guys next time. Mash. I'm going by now.